Hey folks, I'm Brian Landstrider and welcome to the Bicycle Frontier. Here we go, acorn meal crusted walleye cooked in ghee on a wood stove. Yum. Animal activity here. Look at that. I've been chewing on the wood. I wonder what does that. Oh, look at that. It's mushrooms. Look at these mushrooms. What are these? Oh, goodness. I gotta take photographs. Can I do that like this? Photograph. Photo I think I can. That's awesome. What are these? That's not a mushroom at all. That is not a mushroom at all. That's a lichen. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's some kind of lichen. It's cool looking though. Uh, so, what we got? Some acorns. And I'm told we can you can cook the tannins out of these and eat them. Let's see, we want to make sure we want to look at each one we put in there and make sure it doesn't have a worm in it. And we'll be we'll be probably be cracking them up. We'll roast them first. That sounds like a good idea. So that's kind of cool. We got acorns back in here. Of course, we're in competition with the rabbits and squirrels that have been coming around eating them probably. Today, you want to kind of examine it, make sure there's not a little borehole on it. You know, Solid nut hasn't had a chance to get a worm in it yet. And they look pretty recent. Something's got a crack. I don't know, we'll try. We'll take it. We're gonna look at each one individually before we determine if we're gonna save it for boiling. Focus. There we go. It's all black. I can't imagine that would be any good. See, there's... Uh, these were fresh. Oh, look at all the meat in there. There's a lot of material there. If you can get them before the critters do. Oh, look at that. That's a big... Oh, so look over there. There's more. Open one. There's another open one. Oh, see, I don't know about that guy. I don't know about that guy. He looks, uh, he looks like he's from last year. But this one, this one's good. The squirrel might have missed a nut here. It's got his cap on it, though. I don't know. Let's see. Does the cap don't come off? Is it, is it right? I'll find out. There's a acorn, but it doesn't look. Yeah, that's not to this year's acorn, is it? Is it? I don't know. Could be good. Oh, good. Fan turned off. So now I can talk to you guys. I've been processing the acorns. Uh, found that just taking my, the multi tool and using the back portion as a nutcracker. When you need more leverage, try to hold it up closer to the front. There we go. And once you get it cracked enough, it'll split the rest of the way open. Been having pretty good luck so far. Only found this one that was suspect, and it's it's not super suspect, but it has that little that little not so look not so good looking spot. It looks like it's starting to rot right there, or a bug ate its way in there. Yeah, it's a little easier to see on that half of it. 
But that, that's the only thing I found so far that was uh, that looked uh, suspect. So I set that one aside and don't need that one. So once once you get them to split in half, I check I this top little part right here. Peels open real easy with your thumb. And then once they get that off, then you got a really good spot where you can just get a hold of it, peel off the, some of the shell until you can break off a piece of the nut meat. Actually, would it be, I don't know, do you consider acorn a nut? I don't think so. It's like a, it's like a Chinese chestnut inside or chestnut. Chestnut roasting on open fire. I do kind of want to roast them, but like I think I, I think I want to take the tannins out first, boil the tannins out before I do that. Oh, good, it stopped. I was gonna tell you guys a quick story. So I haven't actually tried to do this one other time, like way back. So like way back when I was a kid, I don't know how old I was, maybe 10, 11, something like that. It was back when uh, me and my mom were really into the natural, uh, you know, wild foods and stuff. She was into showing it to me anyway. She probably knew a lot of it or I, I don't know. Point being, one of the things we tried was to collect acorns because we, you know, it's in a lot of books and but uh, we didn't get this far because we collected like a bucket of acorns from I don't remember where but I think it was at one of the neighbors but it must have been the wrong time of year or uh, it was or a bad year for it but like every single one of them that we opened had to was eaten out by worms um, at least it seemed like it. So I mean, we we started processing them, and it was it was, we weren't getting very many good ones. We were mostly bad ones. Now this time I managed to get almost no bad ones. Just like one, uh, three out of all those so far. Still got one or two to go. But just saying, uh, I did try this one other time, but um, way way back, and and it, and it didn't turn out nearly this well so far. Um, We'll see how it turns out in the long run, but... The acorns. So I boiled them three times, about 10 minutes each, dumped that water. So I've had three changes of water, and then this is the fourth change of water. Which I let them sit in that overnight because I wasn't ready to use them last night. Figured that they could sit in the water, that was fine. It's, it's pulled out a lot more tannins, you can see the water's like that tea color. I'm going to dump that off. And then I'm gonna figure out how to roast these. I might have to go over to the farmhouse for that. Now clearly they're roasting pretty quick. I didn't decide if I was gonna put anything on them or not. So we're just roasting them plain, plain. Well, look good. Smell nutty, huh? I think they're done. They look chocolate colored to me. Mm, I don't think it was recording. Anyway, turn that into flour. All right, let's go. I grab some old bay from the cupboard over there, and uh, my acorn flour stuff is uh, in in this little container here. So let's go cook some fish, and then get out in the woods. Okay. Yeah, that works. A little sizzle on this one. Drop that key in there. Now this has a much higher smoke um, than butter, so I should be able to get it really hot on here without it, without having to worry about it. And the stove top has not been getting that insanely hot, so. But I do want a whole lot of it for the fish. And I want to kind of like. Really fry it in there in that ghee. Let's see how that 
Yes. How's that framed up good? There are forks right over there that I could use. Hey, the fan kicked on. It's not being really loud right this second. There are forks right over there that I can use, or other utensils, but I kind of feel compelled to uh, use my bushcraft tool. My bushcrafted spatula here. A nice big chronicle of Swiss chart in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's really good. My balsamic vinegar, I think I want to add this to it after it gets warm. So, let's examine this walleye. Alright, let's uh, get our old bay here on the fish. See, that's the problem, I gotta walk around. The camera goes through there, and the cord here. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to obey a little bit. Right. Then I'm going to get my acorn powder. Let's see that. I don't know about powder, there's definitely some larger chunks in there. But yeah, let's, uh, let's figure out how we get this on there. And I guess I'm not too concerned about wastage. It's, so we'll just sprinkle it on. Seems like it should work. Nice to have like an egg wash or something to put on there too, but I didn't want, I wanted to keep it a, somewhat primitive. Be like a cornmeal, I guess. That's acorn meal. There we go, acorn meal, crusted walleye. Cooked in ghee on a wood stove. Accompanied by Swiss chard with balsamic vinaigrette. Oh. All right, let's sample the Swiss chard first. See how that goes. See how that came out. See if we're going to eat it. Pretty nasty looking. Uh, definitely not visually appealing. <laughs> well, let's keep it real. Oh, but surprisingly tasty. Surprisingly yummy. Yeah. Wow. That that is actually <laughs> wow. That's good. You know you wouldn't. You would look at this and go, ugh! But oh, it, it, the flavor with the balsamic vinaigrette. And this is just blanched, frozen Swiss chard. Oh. Well, and then I heated it up with some ghee in it. That's probably got something to do with, you know, the deliciousness of it as well.
Mm. That's good. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll frame. Oh yeah. Very good. Definitely have to cook up the rest of that in the same way. All right, let's taste a little piece of this fish. I was thinking I might need to add more seasoning to it because I didn't have very much seasoning on it. Not bad. Really not bad. I mean, definitely... Okay. So on our... On our scale, um, well above palatable. Um, I would go as far as good. It's good. Um, wouldn't go any higher than that. But right now, it's good. Acorn crusted walleye. Yum. Um, yeah, and anything that's good, you know, or above is going to get at least a yum. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think if I ate more, okay, I think if I just add some more spice to it, we can get another level and go up to excellent. So, I'm going to obey here. Let's see if I can get some shake out. Give it a good coating of the away and see how. I'm pretty sure that that's all it really needs is just a little more seasoning. So, yummy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely did it. Not, uh, not took it up a level. Yum, yum. All right. I was a little afraid that, that wasn't going to turn out well, but it turned out really well. I have to say. Come on, focus. There we go. Acorn crusted walleye cooked in ghee. I just um, nom nom. I just um, I just nommed it because it's nommy. Very nommy. Very, very nummy. Nummy. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of cheese with this. I need to open the package anyway. A little Swiss chard with balsamic vinaigrette, sauteed in ghee. Mm. I keep saying ghee. If you don't know what that is, it's clarified butter. If you don't know what that is, it's butter that has had the milk solids, lactic acids, and all that other stuff removed for it, removed from it by cooking it off, basically. Hi guys. I think we're gonna wrap this up. I'm going to finish my food, clean up. Still gotta, still gotta process this. I think what I'm gonna do is. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna put a little Swiss shard from my uh, my concoction here. A little bit of fish and a bunch of cheese into this. After I scrape out the inside a little bit more. And then wrap it in foil and we'll take that with us. That'll be our late night meal or whatever. All right, folks. Thanks for joining me on another video. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, subscribe, it really helps me out. And uh, ring that bell if you want to be notified whenever uh, new videos come out. So, a little explanation about uh, where the setting here. Um, I'm in the trailer. 
and I cleaned it up. It's the trailer I stayed in for most of the days I was out of the farm trip. I've got a few more farm trip videos that I might be able to compile. Um, I'm not sure how many more I can tease out of there. Uh, I definitely want to do a walking in the woods one. Um, anyway guys, I don't want to keep you here forever. We're going to wrap this up and until next time, I will catch you later. Oh, don't forget, if you want to see the results of that squash, that's on my first video when I did an overnight in the hammock tent. Till next time guys, I will catch you later.